Howdy folks, BC here. You're watching Deuce and Guns. I was asked not too long ago by a viewer named Evan. He says he has the same 12 inch Buffalo pistol that I do, or revolver, that I do in black powder by Pieta. And he asked me what kind of load I use. Well, I told him, well, that's easy. I use what was recommended that came in the box. It was a little booklet that I remember came with the uh, with both of these revolvers in a box that said the maximum black powder uh, load was 24 grains, which was great for me because that's the 44 caliber spout that came with my powder flask. Well, and I told him that, and he uh, says, great, that, that's great information, but the booklet that came in my box for my Pieta revolvers says a maximum for 44 caliber is 15 grains, of black powder or black powder substitute. Well, I went on their website and sure enough, it does say 15 now instead of 24, or there was a booklet that came that said 24. So I've been shooting 24 for years and it's been fine, but let's see what the difference is between 15 grains of black powder versus 24. I'm gonna to try to shoot both of these, do three of each, and we're gonna shoot them over the chronograph and see what happens. Okay, three rounds, 24 grains, 8 inch barrel. <laughs> yeah, I got a bad cap. All right, so just shy of 500. Now let's load up 15 grains, see what that does. Okay. I do find the Remington cap seem to fit better than the CCI. Now they just slide right on perfectly, the number 10 caps. CCI caps are, I don't know, sometimes they slide on better than others. I don't know if I got a bad run, but some are very tight, and some of them are seem to be loose. So, not sure. All right, we are loaded. Ears on. Okay, 15 grains, 8 inch barrel, Colt. All right, let's see how she goes. A little bit delayed. Much lower recoil. And much lower bullet. Hmm. Okay, well as expected, it was a much slower bullet and it seemed to be kind of delayed in action. I'm not sure if 15 grains is a good load for these. Let's go ahead and uh, load up the um, 12 inch Buffalo here and see what um, see what that does. First off, three shots of 24 grain. Always load one chamber at a time. Don't go through and put all six chambers full of powder because you might miss one. Put a double charge in it and then it's gonna be a bad day for everybody. Go ahead and cover your caps back up. Get your powder out of the way. All right, here we go. Five fifty nine. Eight hundred. Wow. Eight sixteen. All right. Smoky. Now let's check out fifteen grains. Okay. Four forty seven. <laughs> All right. 
Now that wasn't that bad. 15 grains in this bad boy, not so good. Gosh, get my ears off here. There we go. Now I can hear. 15 grains in the Buffalo, actually, that was a very pleasant load, I have to say. I, I might actually change to 15 grains. I'll have to check the actual accuracy because 24 grains is very accurate out of this. But if 15 grains gets what I need to do, I'm going to use 15 grains because it's even slightly easier to shoot, even less recoil than normal, which is, I mean, it's almost no recoil at all. And I can save a bunch of black powder. Win-win. So, I think I might do that. Um, still got to check the accuracy, though, but once I do that, I'm going to, I may change up my routine here. 15 for the 12-inch and for the 8-inch uh, steel Colt, I'm going to stick with 24. Well, guys, that's all I got today. Hope this helps you, Evan, and uh, hope you guys like this. If you did, go ahead and give me a like. Go ahead and subscribe because, again, that helps my channel out a lot. And if you have any questions or comments, I try to answer as many questions as possible. So go ahead and leave those in the comment box below the video. And as always, guys, you have a great day. See ya.